What do you do when your husband doesn't want marriage counseling? And I know uh, quite a few of you out there are running into this. And first off, let me tell you that my heart really goes out to you. Um, it's really a hard thing when you're all in, you're wanting to do whatever it takes to restore the marriage, but the other person in the marriage doesn't want to. They're kind of at a stalemate. Um, they're just kind of stagnant and it's not fair. Um, so let me just validate your feelings and let you know um, that I feel you and you're not alone. All right, so just a couple of action steps of things that you can do right now if your husband is not up for counseling. So the first thing, just because he won't go doesn't necessarily mean that you can't go. So you go get counseling for yourself. Maybe there's some wisdom and insight they can give you to kind of ease um, maybe the tension that's in your marriage right now. Uh, so definitely you go to counseling. Another thing that you could do is maybe you can ask them uh, or ask him if you guys can spend some time together just as a family. So he may not want to go to counseling, um, but he may not be, you know, opposed to doing things as a family. You never know. Very small steps um, can make a huge difference in your marriage. So maybe it's spending time together as a family unit, you know, you and if you have children. Um, but then also maybe just you and him going out for a date night, um, not bringing up certain conversations yet, but just giving um, time and situations to breathe. Uh, you know, maybe sometimes it's a very strong decision that needs to be made and you want the answer right now and it kind of puts him in a shell every time that conversation comes up. Maybe lay low a little bit on that decision or that topic and just spend time with one another and not trying to fix everything all the time. Um, another thing you can do is get together with some people that you both admire and look up to. So spend some time hanging out with mentors, uh, spend some time hanging out with small group leaders or if you have a, a pastor around, maybe even just hanging out with them sparks that, that you know, light bulb in him that may, that may say, maybe we do need to go to counseling, or maybe I can just hang out with this particular gentleman that he looks up to and he can get the wisdom and insight from that. I would actually ask you, what's your greatest need right now? Is it peace in your mind? Um, you know, every time you come home, there's tension, there's arguing. Uh, do you need your sanity? You know, or if children are involved, um, is it just not a, a safe place for them? Or even maybe physically, it's just not a safe place for you. You have to ask yourself, what is your greatest need right now? And then do whatever it takes for you and your children, if they're involved, to provide that. And so if I was talking to my daughter, I would tell them, you got to get to a place where in your heart and in your mind are healed. And sometimes it may require removing yourself from a very contentious atmosphere so that you can allow your heart to heal and so that you can start thinking properly and not thinking and acting out of your pain. I really want you to get healed. I want your heart to get healed because here's the truth. Regardless of what decision you make, if your heart is not healed, that pain is gonna follow you. So whether you stay in the marriage and he does come around and you guys do get counseling, if your heart's not healed, five, 10 years down the line, that pain is, is gonna pop up. Or unfortunately, if you separate or if you do get a divorce and you go into your next marriage, or you may not wanna get married at all because of the pain of this current marriage. And so I want you to get your heart healed. And so whatever you have to do, whether that's counseling, for yourself, whether that's building a great support system with friends and pastors and small group leaders and mentors, whatever it has to be, maybe it's a couple nights in a hotel, a couple nights at a friend's house, so that you can decompress and think properly and not out of your pain. Do that and at least you'll have clarity on um, future decisions and you're not making decisions based on your pain. We'll be praying for you.